Well, plugging in the numbers for our reflection coefficient, we get the reflection coefficient for the voltage at the load is equal to Z naught, since R is equal to Z naught, minus Z naught over Z naught plus Z naught, and this is equal to zero. That, remain, that means our reflection coefficient of zero, which means there will not be any reflection from the load. Let's see if our telegrapher's equation computer model also predicts this. If we run this particular case, we see once it reaches the end, here it's 10 meters long, we get no reflection from the load. So for this scenario, where did the power from the generator go? We know that the power from the generator was delivered to the transmission line, and if the transmission line is lossless, none of the power is lost along the transmission line. The energy is stored in the electric and magnetic fields around the conductors, and at the load there is no reflection. That means that all the power must be delivered to the load when RL is equal to Z, uh, Z naught, the characteristic impedance of the transmission line. I want you now to work on a related problem. The same transmission line is now terminated by an open circuit. RL is equal to infinity. Make a plot of the voltage versus Z along the transmission line at three different moments in time. The first moment in time is listed here. Time is between 0 and L over UP. This exercise will prepare you for the homework and for the exam. So for example, for the first snapshot in time, which is listed again here, fill in the plots here at the bottom to show what the voltage and current looks like versus Z.